Yeah, hi friends, we are continuing to work with uh, Workqs in Blueprint RPA. In this video, we are going to see like, how to add tags uh, to Workqs. And you can find out in Control tab, and then you can find, find out one column like you know, called tag tags. So, a tag is a keyword of term assigned to a word like Workq item as a method of categorizing, categorizing or a grouping that item. And it's exclusively used for like you know for management information like easily to view or a report on work queue items with a like a specific tag. Tag in the sense like the name of that uh, item. And for process reasons, uh, we can give you like a blue prism process like more control over how work items that are locked and work. So the examples for these tags are like you know customer types like a business customer or uh, like consumer internal or uh, SME or premier whatever. And the process works so it's like we have portal, call center, financial advisor, and if it's completed type, if there are like multiple completed outcomes from a process and the computer names, and if an item needs to be worked by the robot that added in the like a queue. And moreover, the tagging means it's a way of uh, like recording like a unique information, like you know, it should not be used for storing information such as the customer's account number or telephone numbers. And the unique information should only be stored in an item data. And now we'll see like how to add tags. Okay, to that one, just go to like a process studio and delete this action like a delete processed items. So reset it and then that may drag and drop on action here and then choose the internal business object as our queues and then set like you know tag item so tag item or untag item say item id you can drag and drop item id here and the tag name is so like a patient information And keep it in double quotes. Good output. It's nothing new, like a tag item. So link it. So showing like a zero errors, then run it. So if you observe here, right now the queue is an empty. Once I run it, we'll add them to queue and then uh, we'll change the status and then we'll assign like a you know, tag name. Okay, let me run it like a bit now in normal mode. So we have added as an like the name of the tag is like um, patient information. Then run it. Okay, then go to control room. Then refresh it. So here you can see like uh, so like a page like it's, it's a tag. And to untag it. We'll use like one more action from the internal business object as work queues. So drag and drop and then choose work queues. Then untag item. So drag and drop item ID. Untag. The linkage. 
so reset it and then run it so let me assign a tag for this one so reset it and run it okay then go to control room then check it and the tag is removed And the major use of uh, the tags are like okay, you know, for search it becomes like an easy. Okay, delete this sun tag. So let me tag it like a, let's say. So one is uh, the patient information, and then use like a one more action for assigning like a tag tag item item id select lines so data The name is like a tag clients so link it so reset it and then run it and then go to control room so refresh it Now the tag is added. Okay, thank you for watching and please stay with us for more videos on QS management. Thank you.